Here's something that should bother you. You put $10,000 in a bank at 100% interest. Compound it once a year, you get $20,000. Makes sense, double your money. But compound it daily, you only get $27,145.67. Wait, you're compounding 365 times instead of once. Shouldn't you have way more than $27,000? Where did the rest of your money go? And by the end of this video, you'll see the same number hiding in your coffee cup, your medicine cabinet, and your social media feed. So let's push it further. Compound every hour, every second, every nanosecond, literally all the time without any gaps. Does the money keep climbing towards $30,000, $40,000, or does it hit a wall? What's your guess? No matter how hard you push, every picosecond, every femtosecond, your $10,000 refuses to become $30,000. It slams into a ceiling at exactly $27,182. But why that specific number? Divide by what you started with and you get 2.718. Same multiplier every time. But why can't you break through? Here's the intuition. As you slice thinner, each slice gives you less extra growth. You're working harder, but the gains shrink faster than your slicing speeds up. You're chasing a limit you can never quite reach. In 1683, a Swiss mathematician named Jacob Bernoulli became obsessed with this exact problem. He spent months slicing growth into smaller and smaller pieces, convinced there had to be a way to break through. But no matter how thin he sliced, he kept hitting the same wall, 2.718. That's E. The first number in history discovered as a limit. But here's the thing. This ceiling doesn't just show up in bank accounts. It shows up everywhere. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Think of it like this. You have 100% growth to hand out, like a whole pizza. Give it all at once, you double your money. Simple. $10,000 becomes $20,000. But what if you slice that pizza into 12 pieces and serve them one at a time? Here's the trick. Each slice gets applied to everything you have earned so far. Slice 1 grows your 10,000. Slice 2 grows that amount. Slice 3 grows that amount. Each piece earns interest on all the previous pieces. You end up with 26,130 instead of 20,000. Slice it into 365 pieces, 27,145. Slice it into infinitely thin, you squeeze out every last drop of your growth possible. E is the maximum multiplier you can ever get from 100% growth when you split it into infinitely small pieces. No matter what you start with, a dollar, 10,000, a million, multiply by E and that's your ceiling. That's not a formula that someone made up. That's just what happens. It's built into the math itself. Okay, that's the origin of E, but does this number actually show up in real life? Everywhere. Your morning coffee doesn't cool at steady rate. It drops fast when it's hot, and then slower and slower as it approaches room temperature. The formula for this, T of T equals T room plus the difference between the initial and room temperature times E to the negative KT. Your coffee has no idea what calculus is, but it cools according to E. Next time you're watching for your coffee to cool down, you're literally watching E in action. Same pattern, different place. 
every painkiller you have ever taken. Your liver doesn't clear drugs at a constant rate. It clears them exponentially. After one half life, half remains. After two, a quarter. After five half lives, 97% is gone. The math behind? Wait four to six hours before your next dose. It's E. Next time you check the clock before taking another painkiller, you're working with E. And here's one you have probably experienced, watching something go viral. In the early stages, viral content spreads exponentially. Each person shares to multiple people who shares to multiple people. The growth follows E to the R T. Same E, just in growth mode instead of decay. That's why things blow up so fast at first. The math is literally exponential, and at the heart of it is E. Three completely different situations, same number hiding in all of them. So from now on, whenever you see E in a formula, ask yourself one question. Is this continuous change, growth or decay happening smoothly without gaps? If yes, E is there. Every time. Your money compounding, your coffee cooling, your medicine fading, a video going viral, same multiplier underneath. Now you actually know why it's there and you will spot it everywhere. You don't just solve it, you understand it.